Hi guys, back for part two. <laughs> Sorry, the last video had a lot of noise in the background, but they do road work here and it's right out in front of the house. They had just laid down a, a new road for us and then um, they had to come back and put in the water main uh, covers and that and I don't know why they do it this way but they lay down the road first and then they come back and they jackhammer up around the areas they need to put things. You would think they'd do it the other way around but whatever's easiest for them, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're uh, going to finish her up, and I did add a tiny bit of um, black raspberry on her little <laughs> sickle slice, or whatever you want to call this thing here, and I added a little bit of it up here in her, like, feather areas, and I'm going to add it into her little flower places. And then I may just use um, the Distress Ink as a water base color, um, like a watercolor, and add in with some of that here and there. So we will see as we go. So I'm going to bring it down so you can um, see what I'm doing here. And I'll just be adding it into the roses. And this is the uh, Black Raspberry just into the shadow parts give it a little definition and a little tiny bit more color I want to keep it as muted as I can but I want to add in some color here and just to define some areas so I'll be doing this on all the flowers that I see. So it's just adding in a bit more color and the black and raspberry kind of has got the same uh, tone so it's not bright at all. And I think I'm going to add a little on her lips here. Flowers. All of her um, pearls and that will be done with the stickles. I am not worried about um, green leaves because I'm not adding any green into this. We do have some ruffling going on here. The isn't really a flower, but we'll pretend. Okay, and in the flowers down here, kind of do the same thing, just adding some color. With the skulls all dark in their eyes, we kind of leave them with just some shading on them. Kind of there, but kind of not. <laughs> Again, I'm not terribly precise down here because I want the um, background uh, to be kind of a muted background. Okay, we 
I have flowers on this side. Just kind of going around the petals. Okay, like I said, I had put some of this cover up here, and I'm just going to bring it in so it has a little more of the uh, pinkish, reddish color in it. Just very lightly going over it. feathery things. I'm going to color it in and bring it down. I'm going to do it very lightly and then I'll blend the two colors together. some brown in there. Get Sienna. Just kind of bring it up. And then do the other color. Then I'll add the white in on top of that to give it any highlights. a little bit more on her hair. Kind of wanted to leave it a light, soft brown, kind of whitish look. So I was thinking, sorry, stapler, her stapler. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's my um, sharpener. I had a little bit of peach in here. go through and add a little white in it. And 
a little more peach on her face here. Not too much because we want it white. But I want a little more shadow in there. Okay, and in her hair, we're just going to add white to soften up some of the darker browns. I like on that look. I'm going to be adding Posca in there also. Whiten up her jaw just a bit more. I don't have color in her eyes. Um, oops, sorry. Computer making noise again. Look at that. And, um, I'm debating on little white highlight here. Kind of blend that a little bit more. Her eyes should probably be, you know, ghosty blue or red or something. So we're going to go ahead and go in with some of the black raspberry. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's we'll just Kind of give her the highlights of her reddish eye. Then we'll go in with the black and give her um, kind of the eyelashes here. Okay, we have the planet to do, and we're going to do that in the same colors, the pink and the browns, so I think we'll go with the pink sphere, or dark brown, sorry, around the edges. Just lighten it as we come in. Darker in her hand. I'm going to bring in some of the um, black raspberry. And bring it in on this side real light. And then we'll blend that in. A little white, just on the edge here. And bring it in here a bit more. More of the brown over on this side. 
I'm going to tighten up the land a little bit. The uh, idea of the land or something. <laughs> Can't really tell what it is. I'm going to darken that up. And back in with the white just to burnish it down. There we go. Now I'm going to bring in uh, my Tosca. And like I said, I was going to do um, the lace here on her dress. And it's like in little scallops. So we're just going to go around and do little scallops first. And those are scallops down here. Then there are bigger ones down below. And then there's little dots and everything, and I have to go back and get all those. But right now I want to do the scallop pieces. And if I don't see them, I'm just going to pretend they're there. <laughs> And then we go back, and each one of these has got a little line that covers up. And we'll just add them in, and then we add dots down here. And then on the line of the dress, I'm going to try to white that out too. Anyway, that's how I'll be doing the uh, lace. It's a little tedious, but it'll look really pretty. Okay, and down the bottom. I'm going to do this a little different. I'll do the scalloping part, the line above. I'm going to make it a little deeper scallop here because I colored it darker. I can do whatever, <laughs> basically, because I can't see the lines. And then we'll just um, add a dot in the middle here. And then little dots around the bottom. And maybe some little dots inside, just to give it a little more. I wasn't crazy about the lines up on the top, so. <laughs> okay, and then the bottom edge of each one of these. And 
and on the very bottom, do the same thing. Got a lace. <laughs> and then the dots all the way around. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. Do those on the lines here too. Okay. And then we have, I know I still have some on them bottom but I'll finish that part later. <laughs> we have all the little pearls to do too so I'll get them white and then um, I'm trying to find out where this one goes. It starts up here. This one just goes up. Up across there. And then there are a ton of them in her hair. So start here and I will probably go over these with the stickles but I want to make sure they're white before I start Bunch on them. The deck of this thing, too.
Okay. And then there's her necklaces. Did not realize there were so many. <laughs> She's got them all over the place. And like I said, we'll be going over these with stickles, so I'm just getting the gist of them down. Then I will finish up her lace. I'm going to add. Find to that. And then probably a shine to this. And then um, like these areas here, I'm going to do those in kind of a uh, goldish color. And then she's got the, the two sets of earrings here too. And I want to make sure those get stickles on them. Do I'll finish up her lace down here. This one's got bigger lace. <laughs> so I can actually do that one. lace over here Okay. Let's see what else I can do without adding stickles in here. I'm going to put a little shine in her bow. dot in her eye. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, I'm going to get the stickles and I'll be back. Okay, in my little stash here of stickles, I have actually a stickles in the vintage photo, which is the ink in the background the Victorian velvet, which is her flowers and the pinkish tones in here, and then um, diamond, which I'm going to use on all the pearls. 
So the roses are going to get some of the vintage or the Victorian velvet and if I want to put some blacks in or the browns in here I'll put the browns in and I forgot to show you that I was going to do those skulls but we'll do them later after I figure out how I'm going to do them with a dark dark brown and a little black mm -hmm. in their eyes that is my neighbor uh, his son likes to room his truck because he's that age. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> he sits in the driveway and does that. And he plays music real loud in his truck sometimes, too. <sighs> what can I say? Okay, we're going to add a little black in here, too. Darken the eyes up a bit. And his nose. Just going to go over whatever that was. I'm going to get him a little, um, browner in some areas. And basically, that is what I'm going to do on all of those. So I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. But I wanted to get the stickles laid down. And they're dry. Okay. So this is going to go. This is the um, Victorian Velvet. And it's a nice pink shade and I'm just going to smush it around in her flower so it'll give her a little glitter in there but the same color so it's not gonna stand out too much so I'm just kind of putting it down and, and smearing it in And we'll do that on all the flowers. Just want a little bit of color in here. So there's flowers over here. And over here on this side. Yep, skeleton. <laughs> he doesn't need to be sparkly. Okay, I might do some of this on the feathers too, not sure yet. I am going to put some of the um, vintage photo in on the brown on her bow. That's pretty. Maybe some of this up in one of the feathers. And then with the diamond, we're going to go on the pearls. Just a little dot on each one. So we're going to want to make sure they were white. So they'll stand out.
Okay. to the center earrings. Try to remember to get all these little pearls. And then she's got them in her hair too. I forgot about that. Okay. So she will have very sparkly hair too. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't know if I missed any. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch that comes down this. There we go. Alright. And then we will get out some gold. And do the let's see, I've got a couple of golds. Which one do I have? We have gold, gold, and old gold. Hmm. Let me try this one. Alright, we're gonna put this on the um, little area up here. this one here and I'm going to pretend that there's going to be something down here too. Might as well put one down here. Okay. And we can add a little of this into one of these. Feathers. And then when this dries, I'm going to go back in with some more of the Distress ink after I color in all the little skull guys. A little more of the velvet and the photo just to darken the background up a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, I am going to touch it up with a little bit of um, watercoloring with the ink. I forgot all about that, so you have to stick with me a little longer. So I'm just going to put a little water down on my glass tabletop. I'm going to take the um, Victorian Velvet. I'm going to smash it down here on my table. I'm going to lift you up so you can see that a little bit. So I just dab it down. Glass tabletop. <laughs> Water is here and I'm just going to run it in and pick up some of this as a watercolor base. And I'm going to just kind of sprinkle it in here. Some on these little flowers. Oh, thinking that's her arm, huh? Leave that. We're just going to darken it up here. 
maybe add a little on the flowers here. Or can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> Just in these areas. So just kind of washing it in there. It's okay if the brush is picking up some of the glitter, I can get it out. And I'm just adding kind of like little spots of color here and there. And we'll let that dry and then we'll come back in and maybe add a little bit of the um, vintage photo too. But I just wanted to show you how I do this. I add the, I just wipe it up off my desk when I'm done. If I add any more of the other color, I will add it and it can just splat it around too. So I gotta let this dry. So other than that, I may um, add some little white splatters, I'm not sure. So I will show you a picture of her when she is all dry and finished up so i really thank you all for sticking with me for the end of this video i really wanted just to put this all in as one but the jack hampers were kind of a uh, way too loud to film with so i hope you all have a great day and if you like this video please put a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe Hit the bell if you would like notifications, and thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.